Okay, welcome back. This is part 28 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. Uh, in the last video, what we did is we created a, a simple contact form, and we put a link to it in our, uh, our bottom navigation bar. Um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our edit profile. Now, recently, we just did the, uh, the profile page itself, where it displays all the user's information that you want to display. Uh, but now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make it so users, once they're logged in, they'll be able to go in and they'll be able to edit their own profile information. So they'll be able to change the website, YouTube, bio, whatever, um, and change their avatar image and, and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah. And I've already logged in, as you can tell. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of add a little bit of styling to our status up here, our status area. So you want to open up the status page, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down a line or two, and I'm just going to put in another echo, and eventually we're going to get rid of this one right here, but for now, uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make it a table. Um, so the table is going to contain uh, a, a couple different things, and it's going to contain uh, pretty much just various links, um, and you can obviously make yours contain whatever you want, um, but yeah. Um, so the first thing we're going to have is a row and a column. Um, so we have our row and we have two columns. Um, in the first column, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, take this profile link, the link that's going to automatically take a user to their own profile. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to paste it in the first area right there. And I'm going to take the log out link and I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to paste it in the second uh, area, and I'm going to get rid of that echo statement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire um, this entire row, and I'm going to change the links up pretty much. Uh, so this first one is going to be edit profile, and the link is going to be uh, take you to edit underscore profile dot php. And I've already got that uh, page created, and I actually just copied and pasted the source code page. Um, so, change the title real quick. So, edit profile. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so you have to be logged in or else you're going to see an error uh, if you navigate to the page and you're not logged in. And for now, um, I'm just going to get rid of this link. Um, I'm going to keep in the, the href and uh, the entire anchor tag, but it's not going to show anything. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so I'll, I'll FTP that up in a bit, um, but the first thing we want to do in our edit profile page is inside of our left, or if you want, you could do a full, um, but I'm just going to throw it in the left, um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement, and the if statement is going to check to make sure um, that the user is actually logged in, um, so the only thing we have to do, uh, like we did for the... Uh, the status to display the status couldn't think of the page to display the status all we did status all we did was put in an if statement checking for the username um, since we get that in our top page so all we have to do is put that if statement in and for the error message itself I'm gonna put in center tags and inside the center I'm gonna put in uh, h1 tags And outside of the center, um, I'm going to put in a font tag, and I'm going to set the color to red. So that's kind of a universal uh, error. So then you want to end the font tag. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, in the header 1 tag, the h1 tag, uh, this is where you're going to put your message, because it's in the very center of everything. And I'm going to say, you must be logged in to view this page. So, I suppose that's good for now. Um, just a nice simple message, nice and big and red. Uh, so, inside of our username right here, inside of this, uh, the top of this if statement, uh, I'm going to create a form, and it's going to be pretty much the exact form as the register page. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the register page, um, and it's for the most part going to be the exact form as the register page except uh, some slight modifications to it. So I'm just going to paste that in. <coughs> so 
I'm actually going to indent this as well. Okay, so in the... How should I put this? Um, the form itself, how we're going to do this is it's automatically going to uh, get the information from the database and then it's going to display all that information from the database in the corresponding field. So it's going to display the, username, the user's first name and last name in the first name and last name field. And then we're going to take out the username field because people won't... Whoop, because there we go because people won't be able to edit their username uh, and we're going to take out the second password well we'll leave the password in there for now but what we're going to do later is or how I'm going to do it at least is uh, there's going to be a separate form to edit your password so it's just going to all be displayed on the same page so it makes it uh, simpler um, the avatar we're going to go ahead and leave the website address, YouTube, and bio. Yeah, that should be good. Um, and we're going to change the value of the button to, um, or, hmm, save changes, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's good for now. And then we're going to put in an if statement for the um, submit button. And I'm going to change the name of the, the uh, save changes button to save button. Um, and because we're, since I'm going to be displaying the two different forms on the same page, they can't have the same name, and I'm probably going to put for the, the second form is going to be to edit the password. Uh, so yeah, so inside, we here, inside of here we want to say uh, the post method, and we want to set this to save button. So if the save button is pressed, that's pretty much what we're saying. There we go. And for the else, we're just going to put in the form variable. And I'm going to change this to... Um, I guess I'll leave that as form. Or we'll say info form. We'll change the name of the form itself to info form. Okay. So, inside of our uh, the top of our if statement here... What we want to do is we want to check, or we want to get all of our information from the user. So that's the first name, uh, last name, and everything. So first name equals dot sign underscore post and first name. Um, now, since we're actually for this is actually kind of the second time we're actually getting information from the user and uh, and putting it into our database. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, in a video or two, after we get most of this done, uh, I'm going to show you how to do, uh, we're going to do a PHP function that's going to allow us to add sort of a little bit of security, so it's going to get rid of all the, the crap that we don't want in the uh, various fields that are going to be inserted into the database, um, like it's going to get rid of um, HTML tags and, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but we're going to put it in a function, so it's going to we can just call that function, and it'll automatically do it for any field that we want it to. So that's just going to be kind of nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm just going to pretty much get actually. I don't need to pause the video because really I can just get all of this from the register page because we're using the same uh, field names. So just paste that in indent it. Uh, and you can see here on the register page we're using the strip tags function. That's one of the things that we're going to use except we're going to build our own function to do uh, multiple things, uh, multiple uh, run multiple functions, strip tags and strip slashes and, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we're just going to make it easy by putting it into a function. So we can go ahead and get rid of the password field and the username field. And I'm going to scroll up and get rid of those in the form itself. There we go. And all right. So now what we need to do is if you want, you can just copy and paste pretty much most of the code from the um, register form, register page. There we go. Couldn't think of the name of it. So I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will um, continue on with our edit profile page. So uh, check out the next video.